Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'd like to discuss rear differential limited slip clutch shutter or chatter. I'm also going to attempt to duplicate this symptom for you and give you some audio and visual of what you can experience whenever you have this particular problem here. Now, I guess the best way that I can describe this particular symptom to you is it's like a shutter or growling or chatter coming from the rear end whenever you're traveling at very low speeds and making a turn. That's key, making a turn, very low speed. So let me hush up and let me give you some audio and visual of what you might experience whenever you have this particular symptom. I'm gonna to attempt to give you some audio and visual. There's only so much that these microphones will pick up. So just bear with me on that, but we'll see what we can do. Well, I must say that actually turned out a lot better than I anticipated. You could hear that vibration happening whenever I was making a very, very slow turn to the right or to the left there. I might have been going one mile per hour, by the way. So this is very, very low speed while making a turn that the symptom happens. Now do keep in mind that this particular symptom can be a little bit uh, tricky to diagnose at times. Uh, this vibration happens in the rear end, however, the vibrations translate through the chassis and could make components on the front end of the vehicle resonate or vibrate, which was the case with this particular audio here. Uh, the vibration was happening in the rear end, but that vibration was traveling through the chassis and making the side view mirrors and the headlamps uh, vibrate, making this noise here. Now this right here is the source of that sensation or noise. These are your limited slip differential clutch packs, and this is what makes your differential a limited slip differential. Uh, these are responsible for locking both of the axles together so that both wheels spin close to the same rate or at the same rate. Now, they are designed to have limited slip, as in whenever you're taking a sharp turn uh, to the left or to the right or backing up, they're supposed to slip so that one wheel can spin faster than the other in those situations there. Now, whenever you got a problem with your clutch packs, they won't do that properly. And what's going on inside there and what causes that are these uh, clutch packs here. You have one disc here that has friction material on it, then you got a metal disc, then a friction disc, then a metal disc, so on and so forth. And these things slip on each other. And whenever the sensation or noise is happening, they're not slipping smoothly like that. They're actually kind of jerking around and, and uh, making that vibration there. Now it's been my experience that this is usually caused by one of two things. One, maybe you had a rear differential serviced under your vehicle and they drained the fluid, filled it back up with the correct fluid, but they forgot to put the friction modifier in there. You have to have friction modifier added to the rear end in order for these clutches to slip properly. And if it wasn't added in there, they won't do that. So. In those cases, you may be able to add some friction modifier to the rear end, and that may resolve this problem here. However, in a lot of instances, the clutch packs are just slap worn out or burn up, and they have to be replaced. And that was the case with these particular clutch packs right here. I tried to actually add some friction modifier to the rear end on this, and that did not resolve the problem. So I ended up having to replace the clutch packs, and the problem was solved. Well guys, that is it. I sincerely hope that this information helps somebody. Uh, this isn't my typical how-to video. Uh, this is more of an informational video for you there, but uh, a lot of good information here that hopefully will help a bunch of people. So, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge, guys. I may need to clarify some things. That's where I do that. Please read that along with a disclaimer at the very end. And also, please like and subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Now, I guess the best way that I can describe this particular symptom to you is it's like a shudder or growling. 
Now, I guess the best way that I can describe this symptom to you is kind of like a shudder or a chattering type noise or Now, I guess the best way that I can describe this particular symptom to you is it's kind of a, uh, a kind of a, a 